Hi, hello, welcome, all the greetings. Um, welcome back to everyone's favorite channel. Allie <laughs> revisits her old K-pop albums because why not? We have time. I'm feeling a little bit spicy today, so let's just dive right in. Um, today we're going to be looking at Got Sevens, Present You and Me. Um, it's the... I guess more deluxe version of the album or the reissued version of the album with Miracle. So let's get started. Everyone remember? Games made up, points don't matter. Let's get into it. This is the version I have and I remember this was I think the first Got 7 album that I bought. Um, potentially one of the first albums that I bought in person without ordering it over the internet so that's pretty cool um, I remember just seeing it on the shelf in the store and it was so pretty and shiny and uh, magical and like oh my goodness look at this can you see the little rainbow stars on the front it's so beautiful and then this kind of like see-through with miracle added to it oh I love this and the picture on the back Look at, look at these boys. Just so wonderful. I love GOT7. Um, I hope you do too, if you're watching this. I actually have a GOT7 tattoo, which I will show you, not in this video, but in the one where I get to um, the album that the lyric that my tattoo is, is from. If that makes any sense. Um, the related album. I will reveal my tattoo to you. That is a promise from me. Um, yes, I love all seven of them. I love this album. I spent the majority of last Christmas when we were all going through a terrible time, not just with, you know, the panini, but also um, the not disbandment because they are still together seven or never seven forever um but all of them kind of going on their own paths and we didn't know what that really meant at the time um it's great now that we know that they are still all considering themselves as one unit which is incredible and wonderful of them but you know at the time it was scary and we didn't know what was happening. And I, I don't know, were you emotional? If you were, let me know what your thoughts were. Um, how do you feel about their companies? Let me know down below in the comments, you know? Let's, okay. Looking at this packaging, I absolutely love it. It's so magical. And I know Miracle's like a Christmassy song. Um, if you've watched the music video, it's it's beautiful it's like living inside of a snow globe so <laughs> I definitely have to give I have to give this packaging packaging gets 8.5 no 8.25 eight and a quarter let's do that 8.25 as much as we love like a tough concept from any group. I love a soft concept and I just feel oh, more rain on the seating. I feel like this is the softest of the boys. Um, it's wonderful. So let's take a look on in of this photo book like the velvets, the neutral tones, all the, oh, the fireflies in the background. Oh my goodness. So yeah, this is so CD2 was the regular CD with Lullaby, Present You, and then they added me in the second part, which is CD1. Sounds kind of confusing, but basically they gave us a whole other CD when they didn't have to. Um, incredible. I love them so much. Look, oh, yes, look at these soft pastel boys. How could you... How could you not love this? Oh my goodness. JB, Fearless Leader, MJ Bomb, we stand forever. Um, yes, love JB in his little natural brooding habitat, staring deeply into our soul. St 
staring deeply into this flower in a glass thing with some twinkle lights. You know what? I love it. It's very... It's like holiday season in a not obviously holiday way, you know? Like, they could have gone full Christmas like they did with the um, holiday version of the Mad album, which I don't own, but I know. <laughs> um, it's part of the backlist that I don't own of theirs, which is getting smaller and smaller as I spend more money. But, um, yeah, I love that they kept it very aesthetically pleasing and pastel and soft in terms for holiday and here we go is mark adorable wonderful so oh just soft like mark come on now uh, please tell me all have also been keeping up with all of them individually of course mark's doing some great things the traveling the movie premieres just a plus i love that for him i feel like you know easily overlooked, highly underrated, the wonderful Mark Twan. Love him. Is your boy Jackson. I I have such a love-hate relationship with Jackson. Not that I would ever hate him in any way, shape, or form. Just, I hate how much I love him. Is that a thing? Can that be a thing? Sure, why not? Um, let's call it that. This soft little robe. This reminds me of an outfit he has in their most recent album. I'll talk about that eventually when I get to reopening those albums, but yes, um, I love this for him. It's such a good look. And then we'll, we'll button up. Oh, and he's there smelling the roses. Our king takes time to stop and smell the roses, as a good king does. And here we go. Okay. Um, Jin Young is my bias. I'm just going to get it out of the way and let you all know that because I will be obsessively talking about him probably a lot anytime I come to a GOT7 album. I just... How can I not? <laughs> the first... Oh, and then... It's like a perfect little floral lantern. I don't know what this is, but I love them. They're so pretty. Oh, here's my little, my little gifties. I will hide those out of our eyesight. We don't know what those are. What are those? I don't know. Okay. The way he is staring directly into my soul is mean. But also, thank you. <laughs> oh, I'm so sad. Oh, Young Jay, it saved me from being sad about, about Jin Young. Okay. Hi, Young Jay. Little smiley boy isn't smiling right now, but it's okay. Smiley boys can brood too. Um, yes, we love Young Jay. Um, his comeback was also incredibly good. I loved everyone. All of their solo work has been incredible. Let me know. What do you guys think about their solo work? Uh, comment down below what your favorite of their solo albums is. Please let me know. Bam Bam, okay, Bam Bam, expensive. That is the word that I use to describe Bam Bam. He always looks so expensive no matter what he's wearing. Like right now, obviously, he's wearing like the rich fabrics, the softness, the like the luxe and the leather shoes. But even when he's in like a t-shirt and jeans, which he hardly ever is, but when he is, he just looks expensive at all times. Maybe it's the cheekbones. I don't know. <gasps> Kim Yoo Kyung. Boo, boo, boo. Kim Yoo Kyung. Um, I'm so sorry. That sweater is amazing. But yes, we love, oh, we love our big Maknae. We love him so much. Talented dancer boy. Just beautiful. Oh, and then we get the little little dark side of the moon action going on here so we had them in the daytime and now we're outside and it's the city and oh I love this the like I don't know if you can see it but it's like the words in miracle yeah can you see it okay the words in miracle and they're in front of them and they all look oh they're less broody now they have their little 
their little green light, which is that us? Is that Agase? I don't know. Oh, the little unit shots here in their thanks page. Wonderful. With glitter, perfect. Yep. And then just the boys and a shooting star because our wish is to have this back. It's to have OT7 in front of our faces. And then there's the other CD. Absolutely beautiful. Sublime. I love this concept. Um, softness. So much softness. I'm going to give this concept a an 8.5 just because I wish there were more outfits. They only had two outfits. I wish there were more. So we're going 8.5. Okay. Time to take a look at our gifts for this album. And I will say when I purchased this album, because I did purchase it in person, I know I've already said that, um, it had its pre-order gifts still with it, which is a calendar for 2019, <laughs> which, you know, I wish we could go back to 2019. Let's open this up and look at it. Like, it's not the most useful thing now, but that's okay. Um, at the time, great packaging, like, ooh, very sturdy, love this. Okay, at the time, super useful, and also I have all their little, their little tiny faces on stickers, that's wonderful. Oh, did I use? I used a Yukyum for something. Don't know what that was, but I guess I'll find it eventually in my life. But yes, it's like a little, little hangy calendar. Um, but super cute. I can still use the pictures for things. You know what? I have a picture for every single month. And we can use them. They're all staring directly into my soul, Mark. How dare you? <gasps> I can't, I'm not even going to talk about that. It's rude and unacceptable, sir. Mr. Otter, how dare you? Bam Bam is the only one to look away from me in this entire thing, and I respect him for that. <laughs> okay. You know what? Chandelier is not necessary, but this is, this is highly necessary. Um, necessary to ruining my life. Hello. Okay, now Bam Bam's looking at me, and I feel offended. How did oh oldest in mock me little unit that's adorable um yeah how dare they usefulness is not super high in this calendar um but again I can reuse the pictures and I have little stickies that's so cute and then okay let's see so we have oh, this is the little CD booklet don't look at cards look at them last okay little CD booklet with oh all the little information about the songs okay I guess that's like I got Bam Bam as my little booklet person and I could have gotten different ones okay so this counts as like a little thing cute be cute oh weird so one goes this way and one goes oh because of the d two different albums I'm an idiot okay fair enough love it okay who were my photo cards do we remember no okay bam bam okay i feel like i know who the other ones might be but let's just see so we got bam prince bam bam we got jb yes and we got jackson oh my goodness look at him so cute can't tilt this and make his head not like look distorted. I'm so sorry. I swear I'm only doing this for Jackson Wang to notice me, Jackson. Um, if you can give me one of those hundred and thirty dollar t-shirts, hit a girl up. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> this is a really great range. I feel like and very adorable pictures they're all looking me directly in the eye um yes great love this i wish it came with more than just pictures and this little thing because if i didn't get the pre-order calendar 
I would have just gotten three pictures and this little thing that has a couple pictures of Bam Bam in it. So you know what? It's pretty, it's pretty low in terms of gift amounts, um, even if it is really great gifts. So I'm going to give our gifts here a 7.5, 7.5. Moving on to music, the music for this album is so thoughtful. That's the word that I think of when I think of the music for this one. Because we have this first half that has not just lullaby, but they all have their individual songs that they sing by themselves. Um, slightly different from the newest album where they have individual songs that each of them wrote that all of them sing together but this is like the first time we get to hear their individual sounds what they feel like they want to sound like as themselves and I feel like the message is very deep there um, yeah I love that and then since it's the you and me version we also have the other album that has their little kind of um, unit songs, which, you know, you don't really think about, but it has like King, which is Jin Young and Bam Bam, which is such like an odd combination. Just things like that that really make it so special and then so different from any of the albums they'd made before this. Um, that really, I feel like, step up, stepped their game up as artists. Um, yeah, I love this entire album, not just Lullaby, not just Miracle, although those are wonderful songs, but the entire idea behind it was very incredible and very thoughtful to me. I'm going to give it a 9.5. For the music, it gets a 9.5. It just has to. I mean, for King alone, right? 9.5. So what did we learn today? Um, we learned I am a pretty big agace. <laughs> I have their works tattooed on my body, even though you guys have yet to see that. Um, we have learned that I am a sucker for soft concepts. I'm sorry. I will never be sorry for that. And we have learned that GOT7 is timelessly incredible and impressive, and I just can't wait for them to do more stuff in the future, hopefully together. Um, we love individual things, but you know, we just, we miss them all being together in the same place. I know the panini sandwich that we are all in makes that hard right now and also they're trying to step out on their own and do various things and we are all fully supportive of that or at least I would like for all of us to be um what is your favorite project that any of them has worked on have you guys seen their individual like acting and singing and creating without one another um, let me know down below what you love. Um, yeah, this is just altogether a wonderful experience and a really great revisit. I'm glad that I did. And let's total this up. So let's see. Package 8.25. Concept 8.5. Gift 7.5. Music 9.5. I have to go ahead and say that I believe the total score for this one should be so we have got seven right but then we also have forever so that's an 11 11 for me thanks so much for watching um, please check out my other videos Tell me some things down below, throw a like my way, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye.